What is going on guys, it's Ben here, bringing you another Vainglory video. In today's video, we are once again playing a ranked match. As you can see here, right off the bat here, we banned Sky, they banned Adagio. It's either like Adagio, Sky, Fortress, Black Feathers. Those are the four main heroes that I see getting banned. Um, and honestly, since Fortress is on the board, that's what I'm picking it right here. I'm not gonna do weapon power lane. Um, I am playing with Blade Art here. I was just recording this, I, was, uh, I wasn't actually recording the audio for this I was just recording the gameplay and I flashback record this but we are once again on the quest of Inglorious here um showing you guys how the draft progressed here so they actually picked Glaive Bladeheart wanted to play Glaive so he's like yo we should just pick up Fortress and I'll pick your lane for you so he picked me a Ringo um and then let's see what are they gonna pick but either way guys uh hopefully I think in the beginning of June there will be a Vanglory update that will have the Lance, hopefully. Um, can't confirm anything, can't deny anything, I don't, I'm not, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that, I'm just going along with like what usually their update schedule is, usually it's beginning of the months. Um, usually on this, like Tuesdays or Wednesdays, um, so hopefully one of those days, but right here. We have Tardy who picks a Catherine. Um, we wanted him to pick like a legit jungler like uh taka or i forgot what the other one was rona but he actually picks a catherine so it's like oh okay um so bladeheart decided to go jungle fortress which is okay jungle fortress honestly isn't that bad uh, i was i was getting ready to go cp ringo um but it's gonna force me to go weapon power ringo this time so yeah an interesting little thing you can see it says world's best arden and on the glaive there uh so kind of funny um but, you know, it's, with duo Q dra uh, draft mode, it's, it's kind of like hit or miss. Uh, at least he win a support hero and didn't just, like, troll us with some, like, super bad hero or whatever. Um, but we were, we were planning on going Fortress support, not Fortress Jungle at first, but we gotta see how it happens. They have a pretty nasty team comp that's, like, a, a pretty nice, like, Ar Arden. With the Glaive, with the Scarf, it's a really, really good comp for sure. A lot of teams are running that, and it's just because it's so good. And Scarf is really, really strong late game. Uh, and then Glaive is just, I don't know, he's good at all stages of the game. But guys, exciting news. You guys remember how my chair has been broken? Well, it's still broken. It's Both of them are still broken, honestly. <laughs> I'm actually going to wheel this chair over here just so you can see. Okay. This one right here that is snapped, and then this one right here, which is like the same, the same, the same way. <laughs> they're the same exact chairs, and they're both broken. <laughs> but yeah, uh, besides the point, uh, Catherine does die right there. Uh, we're going ham on the the scarf, take him out. Uh, and honestly, this Catherine was a very interesting player on our team. Uh, he was a random person, and I'm just gonna give, give you guys a little like pretext before it happens. But some ping ping does go down because the Catherine was making some very interesting play calls. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just give you like a heads up. Like halfway through the match or something, I do end up meeting her just because. But yeah, besides the point, my chairs are broken, and I'm finally about to get a new one. I ordered it off Amazon. I forget what the name of it is, I could pull it up, it's Herman something, it's like one of the top chair makers or whatever, because I need a really good desk chair, because like I'm in it for, I don't know, I'd say like over 8 hours, and you want to have like a properly aligned spine or whatever, you don't want to be like slouching forward, because that's not good for your back, or anything like that, but right here, they are invading our jungle, I was able to get one of the back camps, uh, Glaive got the other, uh, unfortunately, Tardy does get destroyed by the Glaive, um, but Bladeheart got the, their backs and everything like that. And the Catherine's pinging Blade right here, but not really sure why. Like, he went to go counter invade their jungle and right here. Not so good CS. The farm is, or the turret's taking on my farm. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta yawn here. Hopefully. Hopefully. <sighs> Hopefully, I didn't make too many of you yawn. Um, sorry. But either way. Got a pretty aggressive scarf up in the lane. Uh, at least we have a lockdown now with Catherine, and I keep keep trying to see us here. We got the light shield just so we don't get destroyed by Cath or not Catherine's on um, the scarf Spitfires, but 
Yeah, a lot of commotion early on. Showed you guys my chairs. Told you guys about the pings. Uh, yeah. Good stuff going down. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't watch my stream the other day, you guys remembered when I was ranking with, uh, with Blade once again, I think? No, 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 I was ranking with Eddie. Um, Eddie Gaming, if you guys don't know who that is, check out his channel. Oh, uh, he's another Vangler YouTuber. Um, but yeah, I was ranking with him on my stream yesterday, and so I picked, I forget, I picked Adagio, because Adagio was open, because, like, usually if strong picks are up on board, you usually tend to pick them for your team. Uh, I was gonna go lane. And then, because I had the first pick, and then Eddie picked Glaive because Glaive was still on the board. And then, uh, so it was going to be Adagio lane. The, we're going to do the buff comp. The buff comp is so, 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 so strong. And then, so I was like lane, crystal, and then Eddie was jungle, Glaive, and the dude picks Ozo, Rome. And it's like, seriously, man? Um, so we were kind of mad about that throughout the stream, but somehow, some way, me and Eddie like carried our team to victory. Um, just like the buffs, and since he was... He was the Gla actually I think he was Rona, not Glaive. He was Rona. We were going up against the Glaive, so he picked Rona. We somehow p pulled out the victory. It was an awesome match. Uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I for sure thought we were gonna lose that one right off the bat, cause yeah, support Ozo is not very good. Just just giving you a word to the wise, but and then he started trolling during the middle of the match too. Like um, I, I gave him like the the frowny face where it's like you give them like. I don't know, like the disappointed frowny face, the second one, not the crying one, the one right before the crying one. <laughs> and then uh, what he did was he went up and took my lame farm, and then he, then he like, we were both full health, and then he clicked his renewal, and you can tell it was an intentional because he was taking my farm, and then, I, I don't know, it's getting a little heated from that, but whatever, we somehow won it, very interesting match, and thank god it didn't, like, that didn't happen this game, but, I don't know, it's... It's interesting. So I, I tend to not really solo queue very often. I at least always want to have one. And I missed all those CS right there. I just noticed that. But with the huge minion wave like that, it's so hard because they deal so much damage. And unless you have a lot of weapon power, it's pretty difficult. But that one right there, that's the frowny face, like the disappointed face I was talking about. <laughs> and then he kept pinging. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, like... Solo queue's fine, but there's just too many trolls around and stuff, and everything like that, so I tend to just rank with the team now, and then you can kind of at least pick what heroes you want, and then the Catherine stuns the Arden there, don't know why he didn't stun the, the Scarf, and then the Scarf was able to pick me pick me off, like, uh, for, for all I know, he could have just misclicked the, well, I'm pretty sure that's what happened, I think he misclicked, because they were like stacked on each other, and he got the Arden, unfortunately, and didn't get the Scarf, but... Either way, I decided to get a Reflex Block. Not really building a lot of damage early on here, because I know with Bladeheart, until he gets his Wolves, well, he does have his Wolves, but until he gets built up a little bit more, we're not going to be able to to really win a fight. So at this point in time, it's looking pretty grim. Uh, Blade is getting destroyed in CS, and we're not really working well as a team. Our Catherine went Contraption first. Honestly, I don't know why. Uh... And, oh, if you guys, I forgot to mention this too, but it's well over and done with, but right off the start, we could tell, like, it was going to be an interesting match, because the, if you, if you guys rewatch the beginning of the match when we run out of the base, the Catherine uses her shield, and you really don't want to upgrade your shield first for your first ability as Catherine, because your stun is so strong in the early game team fights. so, yeah, that was just nothing I had to mention. Um, yeah, so rough early game here, and we notice... Stormguard and uh, Chronograph, so that's typically going into the Contraption, and honestly, there really isn't a reason for Contraption, because it's not like we're going up against the Taka and we're not playing against the Pedal, because that's uh, the two times that you might want to get Contraption. Um, it's more beneficial to either just get the, like a Renewal or at least, at least like a Crucible first, but yeah, so that was unfortunate from that point of view, so our early game is not very good, and they're getting the gold mine here. Um, I try ulting the gold mine, but that's already destroyed, and I don't even know who I'm ulting. I'm ulting the glaive. Uh, Blades Heart Wolves go in, uh, they use their renewal, they already have one. Uh, I do have my reflex block, but I'm not gonna go through the gauntlet. I'm trying to catch up to the Arden. I mean, I mean the glaive here, a little bit lagging behind. He does uh, pretty much deal a crap ton of damage. I'm trying to get back onto the scout trap that was placed right there, but I got taken out. I don't really have a lot of damage. 0-3, super, super rough early game. <laughs> for, 
we're not really playing as a team. Bladeheart going up against the Glaive, and he does go down. So, yeah, this rough early game here, I can at least almost get my Star Wars Blade. You can see the ping is going down from Bladeheart too. Honestly, he shouldn't have been pinging back as much, but I don't know. I already muted the calf because they were having a little bit of a ping war earlier. And I was honestly was about to mute Bladeheart too because I, I hate seeing the question mark ping a bunch. Um, but yeah, so they're having the ping war. You, obviously, you can't see the Catherine sides because I have her muted, but I'm sure that's what they were doing. Uh, right here, we're still able to pick up the scarf uh, with the Catherine stun, and then we. Uh, I was gonna push the turret here. It just seemed like Tardy was really tardy in movements and stuff like that. So it, it was just an odd, odd thing, and I was a little bit delayed on my reflex block, but whatever. It happens. I was just flustered. You know? <laughs> but yeah, we're just getting this out of the way. Rough early game here. Um, it's getting to the mid game stage though. Blade Art has his Aftershock. Tardigi has boots and a contraption at 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Interesting. Interesting, right? And they already have a renewal. Their Ardent almost has an Atlas for me. So. But hey, at least they're almost picking up the glaive. Uh, Bladeheart's almost gonna get him. And does he jump on him? He does pick up the kill. Uh, Scarf is there though. Uh, the Arden's almost done. I think. Yeah, I ult him. Bladeheart gets a little bit more damage. Pick up the kill with my ultimate. Got a pretty decent kill bounty for this stage in the game, so that wasn't bad. Just farming up here, seeing if Scarf wants to stick around, because I probably could take the Scarf right now, because of considering how weak he was. Actually, he's full health, I didn't realize that. But, got the big minions, push him into the turret, deal a little bit of damage to Scarf. You can see my auto is dealing crap ton of damage, especially if they crit. Uh, right here, I wanted to go for the turret, but Catherine kind of left me and went down to the shop, so we probably could have took the turret if Catherine would have stayed with me, because she has the Stormguard um, passive with the... Contraption, but I couldn't risk it because Glaive can just come so fast. He can either run. That sounded really bad. That sounded really bad. He can just run so fast up to me and after burn and probably kill me if he gets on top or just gets like anywhere near me. So, yeah, they're down low though. Uh, Catherine and the fortress continuing on here. And honestly, guys, like you may see me playing a lot of Ringo. This is one thing I do want to mention. You may see me playing a lot of Ringo within the next like coming days or whatever when we're ranking. Uh, it's just because whenever I rank, I feel as though like I'm just gonna I'm not gonna worry about diversifying my heroes uh, if I'm trying to rank up in ranked. I want to play the heroes that I'm best with until I at least get to like yeah it's good to practice other heroes, but until like I hit like the Vainglory skill tier. Uh, I'm, or even if I even get that high, I don't even know. I'm just gonna either post, like if I'm playing with my team, like if I'm playing with Team Apex, I'll be playing probably the roam position. But if I'm just like duo queuing or playing with people I normally don't play with, I'm probably gonna either be playing like, I don't know, uh, a lot of Ringos, maybe, I don't know so much about Vox anymore. Probably some Skies in there, we'll see. It all depends, but yeah, so if you guys see like duplicate heroes here and there for my videos it's just because i'm playing ranked and i really am focusing on my ranked and i want to play the heroes that i feel as though i'm the best with to not lose if that makes sense uh i i do have to widen my hero pool for sure um but that takes practice and time and i'll probably just do that but for now if like a hero that i'm comfortable with is on the board i'm gonna pick it for sure um i'll just have to practice the other ones but right here since i already saw they were getting close to the atlas i pick up an aegis and now I'm going to build towards the bone saw second because, I mean, they're already really far ahead and they're going to have some shields or armor for me, so I need to get something for that uh, just to shred through that. And then later, eventually, I can get the crucible. Right here, they almost pick up the scarf. Not quite. If I was close there, I would have been able to ult him. Uh, we do have a turret up, though. Uh, even though how rough that early game was in kills, we are up in objective, so that's all that really matters. Yes, they got a gold mine. But now they don't have a turret to fall back on, that gives us a lot of help. Um, so that sucks that, yeah, we're that far behind. Um, Scarf does start to ult, we kind of just back off, waiting for the ult. I ult, am I, am I using my ult on Scarf? I did, he blocked it unfortunately, but I know the Glaive is right in that brush and he's gonna hurt if 
He goes in, but Scarf stayed a little bit too long. He thought he felt he felt a little bit comfortable with all the team there, and they're actually diving us on the turret right here. Arden tries to make OP plays, does pick up the Catherine, but he did kill himself for the ace. Um, so I don't really think that was worth it for the Arden, but he saw the opportunity to do it, and we picked it up. And yeah, so right 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 like that, things are starting to turn around. We got the kill bounties. Once we got that turret, it was all good. And then. Yeah, it just started off with that scarf staying a little bit too long, and we picked him up, or I picked him up, and then they engaged on us, and hey, worked out for the 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 two three trade in our favor. But I got some of their jungle as well. Uh, can't I don't think I can get the bone saw just yet. I think I'm quite a bit off. Let's see. Yeah, I'm like a hundred or so off, and or two hundred. I don't even really know. But continuing on, the Arden I think has the Atlas now. I don't really. Yeah, he does. So, gotta get that bone saw quick, because pretty soon maybe even the glaive will get another atlas and it'll definitely hurt. But I'm back to level 12 with those kills. Before that last team fight, guys, I was level 9, so I gained like 3 levels really, really fast. Um, during this fight, I think I gained a level, but 2 levels that quickly got us to level 12. That helped us immensely, because that put us quite a bit ahead. I'm right here though, Catherine goes in, a little bit on her own. Waste the silence, didn't really silence them, but Blade uses the wolves, we get, we get going to them. Um, Glyph kind of separates himself, so we kind of kind of just burn him down. Um, and like I don't know, I was I thought I was gonna go down because he was hitting pretty hard. But hey, we pick up the scarf, and this Arden is like getting lost in the brush. I'm trying to catch up to him. At least I didn't miss any stutters there. Uh, we slow him down a little bit, but I have no energy, and his Atlas was definitely out of range. So, but I can't find him. Where is he? And then the Catherine picks him up. So there we go. We got the other ace. That's two back to backs aces in a row. And right now, uh, my CS like is a little bit below the the average mark. But hey, we're starting to turn around. That's all that really matters. Like I said this in the last video, I think, or that I was talking to you guys. But like CS isn't as like the most important in the game, and we barely got that immense payout. Like it was, it was almost gone. <laughs> we just barely got one last auto attack on it. Uh, but I pick up the, the bone saw and then the lucky strike. But yeah, like, guys, CS is not the most important thing in the world. It's if you're getting objectives and winning. So that's what's important. Yes, it's also very important to get your items and stuff. But as long as you're rotating with your team and just doing good things, that's that's all that matters. Because, like, you can get your gold and experience through kills and stuff, too. It's not. It doesn't all have to be through the minions and whatnot. So that's just one thing I wanted to say. And we're continuing to get the minions. They're pushing the, pushing the wave because Kraken is up and eventually we can push for victory and whatnot. But we take the... Oh yeah, what I just said there though, that does not excuse me from earlier missing the... It was all that CS early on, I do understand that. But I'm really close to double infusing here. So I told Blade, yo, let me get these uh, let me get these minions. I sold my, uh, my candies or my potions. And I'm like, yo, let me get these so I can double. And I don't think they're gonna let me do that because you can see they're starting to push on us. I'm so close. I buy the crystal infusion, but it, I have to pop it still. I realized that I didn't hit it, so I hit it right now. But our scarf falls. Oh, I don't even know what's going down. We're just standing in the goop. We're doing our autos. We're running away. Scarf's trying to hit me, but can't. And then we pick it up. So that was good there. We got our double infuses off. We had a bunch of bone saw stacks, or like bone saw has the stacks, but it like. It's just more so you can shred their armor so you can like do a little bit more damage over time. And we were double infused for that fight. They weren't infused at all. That was a big portion of why we were able to win. Because uh, we had that shop control, so that's really big. And right here, going to take down the turret. Uh, after that, we're just going to wait for the Kraken and chill. Kraken and chill. That sounds good. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of object objectives down now. Got the Kraken incoming. Uh, right here, we should wait for the Kraken, but... Yeah, I don't know. Things are starting to turn around though, as you guys can remember, like the super, super rough early game, but Fortress is starting to hit some power spikes with the CP, or already did. Uh, I alt the scarf here, I think? I don't really remember. I think I hit the scarf, but just trying to get the auto attacks, get those bone saw stacks going. And then we got the glaive up there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Going for the tower. They're really weak. They're trying to back off. I tried to get my last auto, it didn't really work, but we're going ham on the Scarf. And then the Scarf is not able to get away. Glaive is trying to come at me. I thought he was going to stun me, but whatever. He has. He goes. He just goes down. That's all that really happened. Uh, and then we take the Vein Crystal for the victory. So, super rough early game, 
but we picked it up at the end there. Everything kind of turned around uh, once we won that one fight under the... I don't even remember. Once we finally won like the, the trade where we got the ace. But either way, I'll show you guys the skill tier now. So that was a tough match for sure. Tardy was a, was a little interesting, interesting choice of heroes and playstyles. Uh, but hey, still pull out a victory. We got the we got the Rona card. And then would you look at this? <gasps> I'm barely in POA. I'm literally like on the line. You can barely even see my elo bar. But hey, first time being in POA for the season, so we'll take it. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it and don't subscribe for more Vanguard videos. I already was everyone wonderful later night, and I'll see you guys later.